All right. So this story is quite, 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 quite cringe. All right, let's get into it. Um, so <laughs> this is about my friend Carl, uh, but that's not his real name. I'm just saying that name to protect his identity. Uh, and then I was with my other friend, let's just call him Dave, uh, to protect his identity as well. So there were, uh, these happened, uh, two different days in the same week. Uh, so Carl is quite strange. I told, uh, a few other stories on this channel about him, uh, and there were, there are many more to come. So this friend Carl me and Dave all went to go to an arcade in downtown Boston. Uh, so we all took the train there. Uh, also, one of our other friends joined too. Uh, I can't think of an alternative name for him, uh, but he won't be really in the story. Uh, but So yeah, we all went to uh, the arcade in downtown Boston, uh, and we were on the train, uh, and... I forget what he said while we were on the train. It was, like, empty, thankfully, uh, but there was a couple there. Uh, and Carl, I, I think he said something like, uh, Why is there nobody here? I can, like, fuck someone here right now or something. I think he said something along, that, along those lines, and then that couple, uh, walked away to a different cart because they found that quite strange because my friend Carl looks quite strange. He looks like an alien, uh, don't ask why. Um, and he has a weird, loud, cringe voice like that. Um, so, yeah, that was that. Um, and then next we went to the arcade. Everything was great uh, while we were there. Uh, and then we were heading back to our hometown. Uh, and we took a couple buses because um, the train happened to be under construction or whatever. Uh, but on the bus, it was packed. Uh, and Carl, since he's loud uh, and strange, um, I, well, first of all, me and Dave were sitting down uh, and our other friend were sitting down peacefully, but uh, I was sitting on one part and then uh, Dave and my other friend were sitting on another part of the bus, uh, but near me, because uh, like all the seats were packed uh, and uh, Carl wasn't able to get a seat uh, because it was um, too packed. So Carl was like across from me on the bus uh, and the bus is full, mind you, again. Carl said, like, um, um, among these lines, but loudly, uh, but somehow probably thought I would be the only one to hear this or whatever and didn't realize you maybe shouldn't say this in public, uh, especially in a crowded bus that you're stuck in. And uh, But anyways, he was like, It's so crowded in here. I feel like I'm getting raped in here. Uh, something extremely cringe like that. Me, <laughs> me and Dave and uh, just felt so awkward. And we were quiet and like, and Carl kept on like talking just about random stuff throughout the whole way. But it was just really late at night and just really cringe. And we just wanted to get back and we just wanted to chill on the bus, not like, have constant conversation about nothing. Uh, and he, and at one point he's like, John, why aren't you like talking more? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, I'm just tired. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, why? Blah, blah. Uh, it was just so cringe. Uh, but so now let's fast forward to several days later. Uh, me, Carl, and, uh, and Dave went to go get wings. Uh, it's a wing de wings deal that they have uh, normally on Mondays at a place near me. Uh, so, yeah, like, we were having wings. Uh, and, like, me and Carl were just talking about, like, uh, the olden days, like, when we first started hanging out and stuff like that. Um, and 
me and Carl met uh, our sophomore year of high school. That's when we started hanging out. Uh, and my friend uh, Dave, uh, I met him in college, and we started hanging out uh, freshman year of college. But uh, Carl was telling the story of one of our first hangouts. Uh, and he mentioned how, like, uh, we w went to my basement, uh, to play video games. And before we went in the basement, I was like, oh, this is, m I said it in a British accent like this or something like that. I don't even know. And I'm like, oh, welcome to my dungeon. Let's go to my dungeon to play video games, blah, 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 blah. Uh, cause I was a weirdo back then and I still kinda am a weirdo. Uh, but I'm not remotely as weird as Carl. Um, but... So anyways, uh, Carl was just kind of explaining that story, uh, and, and I too. Uh, and then Carl started saying at full volume at this restaurant, Yeah, Chun brought me to his dungeon to rape me! It was just so weird. I obviously didn't do that, and it's just something you just should not joke about, especially... In public, with your loud, cringe voice like that. I'm not sure whether or not people heard that. I'm assuming people did. Me me, me and uh, Dave cringed up. Dave was like, Carl, Carl, no, no, you, you shouldn't say that in public. Like, don't, don't be that loud, too, blah, blah, blah. He's like, what? Why not? What's the problem? Like, I'm just joking, ha! Huh? But John did rape me, though, in his dungeon! He brought me to his dungeon to rape me! Like, ah, oh, like, why are you repeating yourself again? And it's just weird and, and loud and, oh my god, it, uh, it was just so, so cringe. Me and Dave were quite cringed out by all that. There's many, 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 many more cringe stories that will come of Carl. And I will tell you those stories, all right? So check out my other stories on my channel. You'll hear a lot more about Carl. It, it's not, it's probably not in the same name, uh, but you will probably know by that voice uh, when it's used that it is Carl. Uh, but anyways, thank you for listening. Check out my other stories. Bye-bye.